everyone, it is Shannon and I am here for my check-in to see how things went yesterday. It is now Monday. So yesterday was Sunday and I picked my five new titles to read from this week and I did my timed reading. I haven't, I didn't do too much reading beyond that and I was needing 10 more pages to get to my 72 pages. So what I'm reading from this week includes The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, which is a nonfiction science book. And my other nonfiction book is The Diary of Aeneas Nin. Then I also have Pirate's Passion, which is an urban fantasy paranormal romance by Lisa Kessler. It's the second in the Sentinels of Savannah series. And then Blood Magic by Nora Roberts, the third book in the Cousins O'Dwyer series. And also... Polar Vortex by Shandy Moto, which is Canadian fiction. Um, so I read, did my timed reading yesterday, and I got to 62 pages, and then I did go and read more from one of the books. Do you have any guesses as to which one it is? Any guesses? Who could resist Immortal Pirates? Yes, I read more from Pirate's Passion, and I loved every minute of it. I am absolutely adoring this book. Um, it is so much fun. It has such a strong sense of adventure. Um, it's the second book in the series, so I can't say too much about it, but like, what do you really need more than a paranormal romance with immortal pirates? It is a little bit more urban fantasy, though, because although it has the paranormal romance element where it follows a different couple book to book, there is a long arc plot. Um, uh, not conspiracy, but there is, um, uh, at least it started in the first book and we're continuing it here, something about, I'll just say, like a historical artifact you know, and and so there is sort of something around that that has to do with the immortal pirates. And so this one follows um, Keegan, who is the head lead singer of the Scallywags, which is a band, but he's the immortal pirate. And um, uh, oh, Char or Doctor, she introduces herself as Char to him when she's out on a day of yeses, and that's how they meet, but then she's also um, a, a doctor of, she has a, she's a historian, so she has her PhD. Not all historians have their PhD. I'm sorry, I am so tired. I had a late night and an early morning, so I am, I was, I was almost clear mostly, and now not. Anyway, so she has her PhD. She works in a museum. She is focuses her work on the history of pirates, and he's a pirate, and it's just lovely. And then there's also this sort of, um, person, this person from, and he has a whole crew, and I think the series each focuses on one person from the pirate crew. I can't remember what his position on the ship is. I can't remember. Last The last book was The Quartermaster. Mm, I'm not sure. I'll have to pay attention to that. And then there's also someone from the government, from a secret branch of the government that in, looks into paranormal threats. It's just such a good time. I love it so very much. I love the first book, Magnolia Mystic, and so I continued with that one. So my grand total for yesterday ended up being 89 pages. Um, so I read 40 from Pirate's Passion, 6 from Diary of Aeneas Nin. 23 from Blood Magic, 8 from The Structure for Scientific Revolution, and 12 from Polar Vortex. Um, one of the weird things about this set of books is Blood Magic, Pirate's Passion, and The Structure for Scientific Revolution, even though some of them I started like last month and some I started like last year, each and every one of those three I had only read the first chapter. So that's really strange. Why did I read the first chapter and then read other things? I don't know, probably because I start five books at the same time. Just, that might be why. But I'm enjoying them all. But for each of them, I did have to go back a little bit and reread. With the structure of Scientific Revolution, it was just a little bit. But both Blood Magic and Pirate's Passion, I did restart from the beginning because I was only in chapter one. Um, so I'm counting those pages. I am. It ended up being 23 plus 18 pages, so 41 pages. So technically speaking, I only actually hit 41 less 89 is 57. But it's 40 pages and I'm working towards 2,000 for the entire month. Will I, you know, 2,000 versus 2,040 versus 1960? I don't know. I'm just counting them. I know it's a little... It's a little bit cheap, but I honestly don't care. It feels like a drop in the bucket in the grand scheme of things. So, yeah. So, but one of the challenges I am kind of having is this pull between I feel like I should either 
normally I would want to read from each of the books, but because Pirates, Passions, and, and Blood Magic are so similar, Blood Magic is uh, uh, set in Ireland, follows a series, a set of cousins. There is a historical piece, there is magic in the family, and so there's some that's set in, I think, 1270 or something. But I, I think if it follows the pattern of the other books, it'll be mostly sort of present day-ish. But so it kind of has this sort of old and new, and then there's Immortal Pirates, which is, you know, the same people, old and new. So I'm kind of feeling like sh like I should pick one or the other, but I, both, but I also want to read both. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Generally, for today, my plan is to do more timed reading to get another sense of things. These are definitely has some slower reads and some faster reads. Both Pirates, Passion, and Blood Magic are faster reads, and everything else is my pace is a lot slower, so maybe I will just have to read both because I'll just need the pages. I don't know. Um, I haven't looked towards any of the other books. Um, last week, I, I did add in a couple that were on my currently reading that I wanted to finish, but I don't know if I'm going to do that this week. And my extra title is Swamp Thing. Oops, I don't have my tablet here. Um, the Saga of Swamp Thing. I think I'm going to get more firmly centered in these and maybe try that tomorrow. So yeah, so that's where things stand. 89 pages for today. I plan on doing my timed reading to see you know, get another uh, gauge for um, what my pace is. And um, I'm looking forward to all of these. Again, they're really weird set of books. This is so good. I think I probably, I got it. it. To be honest, my heart is with Pirate's Passion and I just don't, I just want to push everything aside and read it because it's so much fun. Um, but um, I would also like to finish Polar Vortex. So I might put a bit of a priority on this. I am, I, I'm at 114 pages of 281. So I have the math right here, actually, uh, 169 pages left. So, um, but this is Canadian fiction. It is more dense. It's beautiful, but it's building up to something. And, and the whole book so far has been building up to something that hasn't happened yet. And I've been feeling once that happens, I'm going to want to stay with it. This is very character driven, very centered in. Um, there's a relationship. There's the protagonist and the woman she's with. I don't they're a couple, but I don't know. They're And they're living together. I don't know if they're married. I think they're um, living together. And then there's a man from the protagonist's past that has, to say resurfaced is a, a bit much. It's nothing um, mystical or something, but it, it, it just, it has created some tension in her current relationship. And there is a lot of re reflection on her point, point, um, or her part on how to approach what to say, what not to say, how to make the other person feel comfortable, not if, and there's a lot also about secrets in a way, in a very interesting way. I feel like it talks about, like, it's, it's a little too much to say, do we have the right to keep something secret from our partner? I feel like, because she's resisting sharing but why is it judgment is there is it trust is it waiting to see how everything will turn out before saying too much but there's so much reflection and internal dialogue it is fascinating so if you like very character driven relationship steeped things this is a really good pick for that um i i would normally say judgment for saying that before finishing something but i don't and I, i'm not sure exactly how this is going to turn out but yeah so definitely secrets is a big theme of this one and um but it's beautifully written and you know really lots of quiet tension and so i want to i think both this and pirate's passion i think would be good ones to set my sights on in terms of finishing i know that's not the focus um but as i think i'm a finisher that's no joke and i only finished one of the five last week and that's fine the goal is pages so 72 pages a day is my goal i am going to work towards that goal i am a little concerned because some of these are, are slower um but i think it sort of pans out. So that's the big question for me to though is trying to figure out if I'm going to pick Pirate's Passion or Blood Magic. But for today, I want to get my pacing down. So I will read from both of them. Of course, I have other stuff that I want to do today. Today's a heavy day for um, like organizing house chores, grocery order. I would like to cook cook something this week. Um, I usually do. I'm very much like like 
easy meals, you know, uh, sandwich, salad, soup, throw something in the oven, you know, freezer to oven. I always like having salad. I always like having fresh vegetables of some kind and fresh uh, fruit. Those That's very important to me. But generally speaking, I don't, I find cooking tough. Um, like it's a lot of energy on top of everything else. So I generally go simple, but I just, I would like to have something sort of home cooked this week. So um, I'm going to see if I can figure out something that's like easy, um, even just spaghetti or something. Um, but uh, spaghetti is tough because it's like, there's a lot, oh, I don't want to get into like, like health stuff and food choices and calories and all that stuff because everyone's got a different opinion and I don't really want to go there but it's just I love spaghetti but it's like there's lots of cal like there's lots of opportunity for adding in more calories and um so and I'm don't I try not to do that I try and make it it's just every time there's but I love carbs it's, it's just true so anyway so I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out something to cook that is easy-ish um, and, or even just partially something like a, like a potato salad, which is all carbs. That would be a horrible choice. Um, I'll think of something and, um, maybe something's on sale and it will inspire me for a recipe. I would also like to do some art. I did do some yesterday. I did some clips. Hopefully they made it in. Um, I'm working on this Carla Sondheim's class, um, a year long class in the current, um, exercise or homework is to do patterns. So I did some patterns. I love this. I use this kind of pattern a fair amount in sketchbooks. Um, it's usually every single piece. This time, I think it were I usually do two, but it can end up looking like crosses, and I don't, I don't want to go for that. But I found when I added a third piece, then you get a really interesting dynamic. And so, if you have three lines cross-sectioning each other, and then it can, there's lots of interplay. It didn't it? It started in the middle and got messy, and so this pattern sort of developed over time. This is more, more in line with what I ended up thinking. And then this one, I've done, like, circles is something that I do all the time. These are really cir circles are more like oblong, blobby things. But I added some dots this time, which I've never done. And um, so I'm not sure how I did it. This is just in marker on, like, random sketch paper. And then I didn't finish either of these, but I started two more. So this one's all the rule for this one. I often make up rules when I'm sketching. So this one is, um, I, I started with, I think this shape, which is two triangles back to back, and then I have two triangles touching through the corner. And so it kind of looks like an hourglass, or it's like a Z with a line through it. And so I just try to continue to repeat that pattern of having either this uh, like X hourglass thing, and then the two triangles, and just sort of try and intermingle and see if I can create a pattern. And this was just with the highlighter. And sometimes I use the point, and sometimes I use the side. And then this last one I only just started was inspired by the, uh, my tulips, just the shape of them and sort of abstracting it and repeating it. You can really, sort of, this one really looks sort of like a, a tulip, and then this sort of more half moon shape. Um, was sort of when it looks like towards you. So anyway, so I didn't finish that. Although if I crop it, it could be finished. So I would like to continue those. The, the homework is to do a lot of them. So I got to stay on that. And I would love some time for art today. Also, um, I'm going to try and um, um, get those quests. And wow, I'm st I no luck yesterday on the quest. So I'm looking for one cooking quest and two fishing quests. They're daily quests, so they change every day. And if you get all of them, you get an achievement. So I'm in, currently in Outlands and I've done three of the five fishing quests and three of the four cooking quests. So I'm going to keep on keeping on trying to get those last quests so I can get my achievement. And um, yeah, and then I also still have to do some vlogs. I ended up doing a lot of the compiling for the vlogs yesterday, which took a lot of time. But um, but now that I found the rhythm of things, it's a, it's a little bit easier. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, so those are the plans for the day. The big reading plan, obviously, of course, is uh, reading, <laughs> uh, getting to my 72 pages and, and doing my timed reading. So and when I do that, hopefully I can share the results. And uh, we shall see where the day takes us. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm very curious to see how long it's been since I have read the diary of Aeneas Nin and uh, or even when I started it. So let's take a look. So April 13th, 2020. So it's been over a year. And I started, oh, I actually wrote some notes there. August 11th, 2020. 
19. So it has been a while. Wow. Yep, that's one of the oldest. It's the second oldest on my currently reading. Let's update it by its whopping... Huh. I did... Okay, well, I'm on 67 now. And, uh... All progress is good progress. <laughs> Updating Goodreads made me realize I did the math wrong, because I was at 60. I read 67 pages. And then I put six, so nope. That actually would be seven, which means I read 90 total. And yeah, woohoo! One more page, one more page. <laughs> it counts, it counts, it counts. And what are you sending paranoia? First knows these people. Let's find out what he thinks. All right, time to get some reading in. Today's soundtrack is Fantasy Board Gaming! Yay! Alright, I have done my timed reading for the day, and I'm trying to remind myself that the goal for today was to time my reading, not to... Well, it's also to get to 72 pages, and we will find out if I succeeded in that. Um, but, yeah, I read from each of the books. It was not in the manner in which I thought it would be. It was not in the manner in which I wanted it to be. However, it was not the length of time I wanted it to be, but I did read from each of the five books. It's been a bit of a rough day. I've been a bit uh, a little all over. It's been another bad pain day, and I had to work on a few things and follow up on a few things and, and shift some things around, and I am not always the best at, um, what's a better way to say it? I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> say that. So I am not the best at uh, shifting uh, things, but the truth was today when I had sat down to reading, I, I very quickly noticed I wasn't focusing and, um, and then I did have to attend to something and it just threw everything off. And so I had to let the truth of that be the truth of that and not try and force myself to read because I was not focused at all. So I shifted things. I did some other things I needed to do. I did some other things that I wanted to do, which is actually a good combination, not just the only the needs to do. Um, so um, I did a little bit of both. And then when I was feeling more centered, I came back and did my reading. So it ended up being way later than I expected or anticipated or planned or whatever, but I still got it in. So don't know if we got to the pages, but let's first look at the page count. So from the structure of scientific revolutions, I read 10 pages in 23 minutes for a page per hour of 26 pages per hour. This is close to on par with yesterday. It was not too much different from that. Um, I do think I need to, um, I got to a section with some illustrations which is always great although they weren't oh that one that one's on a numbered page so that inflated my page count a bit but there were some on er some earlier ones that didn't have page numbers so I didn't get any extra pages for that which is fine which is fine and uh yeah there's an overleaf of a uh, Copernicus something invention uh, the Overleaf, the Copernican heliocentric system from Andreas Solaris's Star Atlas, Harmonia Macrocosmica, 1660. That's what that is. I think the words I know from that are Copernicus from Star Atlas. I don't know specifically what a star atlas is. System. And all of the other words are new to me today. <laughs> so this is slow going. I think what I'm going to do um, is... I was in the sort of intro-ish section, and now it's sort of sectioned off into pretty short chapters. So I think what I need to do is finish the chapter I'm on, and then read a chapter at a time, because it's really hard to stop in the middle and then like come back and try and figure out what they were talking about, because it really does like 
like go this to that to this like it's not it's not it's very different from other nonfiction. it is a textbook so I have to remember that that's the format so hopefully I can read to the next section and then I can read a section at a time and then I'm not trying to remember what they're talking about I did finally look up paradigm because they use that word a lot did I keep it up here and I always remember the word from the book paradigm shift and so I always think of it in that context and so I always think it kind of means shift but then that would be redundant because then it would be like shift shift but a paradigm a noun a model or pattern for something that may be copied a theory or group of ideas about how something should be done, made, or thought about. I think it's it's more the second one. And uh, this is actually probably the better one. A philosophical and theoretical framework of a scientific school of discipline within which theories, laws, and generalizations and experiments performed in support of Performed in support of them are for, are formulated. Sorry, it's really hard to read out loud and get the emphasis correctly. So, um, yeah, so a philosophical and theoretical framework of a scientific school or discipline within which theories, laws, and generalizations and the experiments performed in support of them are formulated. Hopefully that was a little bit better, even if redundant. So, yeah, so I, it's, you know, I still think... Because they talk about it. It's like if, if the book was a drinking game. Paradigm. So anyway, so my pages per hour were about the same as last time. 26 pages per hour. And then for the Diary of Aeneas Nin, um, I read a whopping four pages in 11 minutes for pages per hour of 22 pages per hour. So that's pretty low. I think this one is uh, unfortunately a victim of the... Uh, ebook squish. <laughs> I definitely think it doesn't represent the pages very well. That being said, the the ebook copy is 460 pages, so anyway, you slice it, it's a lot. So those were my nonfiction choices. Again, the Diary of Aeneas Nin is beautiful, although it has some interesting parallels, oddly, with Polar Vortex. There's some interesting how because it's also very centered on people and relationships and thinking about relationships and people dynamics and 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 thoughts and feelings about that. And that is very much also the case in Polar Vortex. So for this one, I read um, 16 pages in 21 minutes for a to for a page per hour of 46 pages per hour which is about on par from the other times in which I read it and for me is about on par for reading Canadian fiction so that's about the same and then on to the more light I guess reads I don't know if they're right light anyway Blood Magic uh, by Nora Roberts I read 22 pages in 18 minutes this one I am reading from the library on overdrive and it's like pretty the ba the pages are oh I already I closed it so the it's a pretty the uh the text is pretty big and it is a literal page per page turn um but I don't care that's how I'm counting it it's easier than other for other ways and um yeah I'm enjoying this one a lot it for me it really speaks to my heart like it really I feel like uh emotionally invested in the characters and in their story uh, and I love the magic, and it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Like, really, you know, I'm going to be verklempt in moments of this book. And I'm not saying necessarily that it's super deep or anything like that. Not that it isn't, not to pass it off as not, but it means something to me. Like, it, mean, like I, I, it speaks to me. So that's pretty awesome. And um, yeah, and so I think now I'm switching from the historical, because um, it follows uh, cousins in the current day as well, uh, and siblings in historically and sort of generationally, uh, the sort of same thing there's a there there's a connection between three family members throughout a family over generation over generation and so i think i've um I'm switching from early uh earlier days in ireland to current day ireland so that'll be interesting to see uh how if i feel the same like you know pull i think so i think it's a bit more fun 
in the current, um, but in the historical, it just, it speaks to me, like, really strongly. And then last but not least, we had Pirate's Passion by Lisa Kessler, which I am, again, just absolutely loving. Um, so this, I uh, sadly only read nine pages, uh, read nine pages in 10 minutes for 84 pages per hour. This is much, much slower. Yesterday, I don't know what, what I, if I, if I miscalculated, because I was on fire yesterday, I read like, 40 pages, I can't remember, but my pages per hour was like over 100 and it never is for fiction, like regular, like text only works. So I don't know. So, but 84 is still very, pretty fast. I'm enjoying this one. And I, I don't know if I forgot to say this yesterday. One of the things that I like about this book, as well as the first book in the series, is that often, like with paranormal romances, often the women ended up at needing to be protected, needing to be like, uh, they're the, mm, uh, uh, they're, uh, kidnapped or, uh, they're not, like, allowed to be involved in, like, whatever's going on, and in this, it's actually, uh, they go to her because she's a historian and they need her help. And they've, and they've touched again on the, the character, one of the characters from the first book, she provided them with information. So it's like, yeah, active parties, active, both active parties in the situation. Yes, please. So, um, yeah. So again, loving that. Okay. So let's do some math because that is always fun. Um, and I don't, I'm not even saying that ironically. Can you say that ironically? Would that ever work? It would have to be a pretty, you'd have to have some more math reference than I provided. <laughs> So not okay. So structure of scientific revolution. I read ten pages. Magic number is seventy-two. Um, uh, these are in a different order. Uh, so blood magic. I read twenty-two pages. Takes us to thirty-two. Polar roller text. I read sixteen pages. Forty-eight. Diary of Aeneas Nin. Four pages. Fifty-two. And Pirate's Passion. Nine pages. Drat. 61. So that's almost the same as yesterday. Isn't that funny? Yesterday I got to 62 and today I got to 61. Well, I guess we shall have to wait and see if I manage another 11 pages today. I think it's probably no surprise that I am going to probably read Pirate's Passion. <laughs> Although I am curious about blood magic, I am curious to see um, what it's like with the characters in, in the current timeline. I think if the if the books, I know a lot of people love dual timelines, and it's not so much dual timelines as it is a generational, like it's mostly centered in current day. If it follows the pattern of the other books, it's mostly centered in current day, but there is a tie to the uh their their ancestors how long does it have to be to be ancestors is that i'm not sure i'm not sure what the correct usage for that word is um anyway <laughs> uh, paradigm was enough <laughs> paradigm was enough yeah so um yeah so i think i probably will manage 11 pages that actually makes me feel better i thought it was more like 40 pages not that i had done the math but i just felt like i didn't um achieve much um because of all of the distractions and frustration and stuff and i did read a bit less a couple of a couple of times i only read for 10 minutes so i don't know did i do the math right 32, 48, 52, 61. Yep, I did. Well, you know, done it once, checked it, checked it. That's the math. The math is the math. Um, yeah, so I am going to make dinner and uh, edit a video. Doing all of the editing is a lot. <laughs> I was hoping to edit like three videos today. Oh yeah, that really didn't happen. I haven't even edited one. I'm actually making dinner that I put in the oven so I can edit it while dinner's cooking instead of having what I was going to plan on having, <laughs> which was faster. 
Let's have a long dinner so that I have time to edit. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. I do need, I do, after all that, I do want to check on the fishing quest though, because I don't want to miss the opportunity for the fishing quest and the um, cooking quest for my regular character who's in the Outlands. Um, because I want to, I want to, I want to. I want to get those quests and go to another area. So those are the things and hopefully 11 more pages. And um, yeah, it's all, all the reading has been good. And this is, this is so good. Diary, Diary of Aeneas Nin is good. It's, it's a very strange, this is a very strange and different set than last time, but the books are really good. So I just got to get more time to read them. Probably not a lot more today. And maybe not tomorrow. So, sorry, that was noisy. All right. Closing it down. And uh, wish me luck on 11 more pages and my fishing quest. <laughs> All right. Be back in a bit. And dinner. It is truly a time of wonder. This diet is very scientific, sir. All the meals are pre-planned and delivered to your doorstep. This is our breakfast. An orange wedge, three cashew nuts, and a solitary grape. It's actually more than you realize. Sometimes I can't even finish all the grapes. All right, time to see if Old Man Barlow has the quest we are looking for. Crocodisks in the city or fell blood fillet. How are you? <sighs> Shrimp and ain't easy. No dice. It is now Tuesday and it is a full day ahead so I'm going to do a quick update to start. One thing that was hilarious is that yesterday I did my pages per hour again and I couldn't find where I had put my pages per hour for the day before but they were exactly where I put this when I was done so <laughs> which is in my Kindle which is where I put my daily page count because it all fits in my Kindle so hilarious. Like, you know, can you not find your keys? Where are they? Where do you normally put your keys? In your pocket? Are they in your pocket? Hey, there you go! <laughs> anyway, that's... Anyway, how did yesterday go? I didn't read too much more than what I started with, um, like, from my last update. So I read a little bit from all of the books. So Polar Vortex, The Sci Structure of Scientific Revolutions, The... Diary of Aeneas Nin and whoa, whoa, touching all the things, Pirate's Passion and Blood Magic. So I read a little bit from everything and then I did continue to read from Pirate's Passion. Anyone surprised? I wasn't surprised. But I only ended up reading another 12 or so pages, but that was enough to get to the magic number and a little bit more. So I did get to 74 pages, so I met my 72 page count go me. Um, today is a busy day. I have groceries. I have something else. Um, and so I don't, I'm a little concerned about getting, um, reading in. So initially I was just going to be like, read from anything. And then I'm like, actually, if I give myself a little bit of structure, because it's a busy day, I might have a little more success. Now, if I get to 72, I will be thrilled in any way, shape or form. But there was some very logical goals and easy uh, easy to set goals. <laughs> Who knows if they're easy to achieve. So I am going to set myself a challenge of getting to the next section in Polar Vortex. I'm on page 130 and the next st section starts at 166. I just saw what it was called. So <laughs> okay so 36 pages of this because um, I would like to finish this this week. I have 153 pages left. I think that's doable. We still have Five days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, and today. Still have today. So five days. Um, so 30 pages a day would, would get me there. Um, I, And I'm aiming for 30 today. So we'll see how that goes. So it's a logical 
break and then something to look forward to for the next round of reading. Um, and then for the Structure for Scientific Revolution, I'm currently reading a section called The Nature of Normal Science. And I only have a couple more pages, so that's three, like three and a half pages, so that's the goal. And then if I'm still feeling up to it, I'm going to read Normal Science as Puzzle Solving. That was a little slow because I'm reading backwards in the camera. And um, and that's about six pages, So, which is about on pace with what I've read. I think reading that chapter to chapter would be better than just the timed reading that I've been doing. Um, so those are specific. And then for Diary of Aeneas Nin, just anything, anything is fine. Um, and Blood Magic, I would like to read one chapter which is going to be in the current setting. And then as much as I would like a Pirate's Passion, I think that will be the one that I stick with. And oh, I forgot something. I forgot something. Sorry. Apologies for noise and um, stuff. Um, I did start Swamp Thing, but I'm only on page nine. <laughs> I didn't even make it past the introduction. Um, which was actually interesting. So this is actually, this is, uh, let's get the correct title. Okay, The Saga of Swamp Thing. The Saga of Swamp Thing. So book one. So this, I think, is a collection of, like, early days Swamp Thing, I think. Um, from the introduction, it does sound like it started, and the copyright says it's from the 80s. Um, yeah, Saga of the Swamp Thing, book one, copyright 1987. Um, because it did, I wasn't sure the, um, whether the comic book came first or the movie, because I love the movie from the 80s, and, um, even though I'm sure it's, actually, I'm not sure it's terrible. I have no idea. I just have memories of it, so it's just nostalgic for me. I do own it somewhere. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, so what did I say? Page nine? So I have... And one more page of that introduction, and then I move on to the foreword, which I might skip. But I've seen the movie, and then, oh, wow, look at that. And then that's the first issue, the cover of the first issue. So, and these are, let's take just a gander. Yeah, so this is has a fair amount of text on the page. So, um, well, what was I trying to say for that? Uh, I was so tired, I couldn't make it through to the comic part of that. So, but that being said, I, uh, so those are my goals. Did I say my goals? Pirates. Oh no, Pirates to page 100. I did set a specific goal. Look at that, page 100. Okay, so I have a specific goal for that. And then also Blood Magic, man, the having the two different editions that I have have a completely, uh, have potentially different page counts. One of them, or, uh, uh, no, okay, so I read one chapter. It said I was 10%, 6.9% uh, through which I gauged at the book being 333 pages. And then when I read the second chapter and added those pages together, it um, and did the calculation, it said I was now at 10.9% through. And then it said the page count was 417 pages. And then the other copy of it from the percentages alone say I am 31 pages in at 12%. So I'm like, I don't even know. So I know I left the formula that I use for calculating <laughs> per, if you only have the percent and, and you're counting like the page turns or like with overdrive, it does say page one of 22 in this chapter. So I do one chapter and use that. But it's not it's not perfect because there's always front material, right? And there's always usually some stuff at the back. So using that one chapter as the gauge isn't great for some reason on the ebooks that have the location, it's a little more, it's a little better. The formula is a little better. It's a little more reliable. I don't know why. Anyway, so that is one of the challenges and the resistances to reading stuff that don't have page counts because it, it drives me a little batty. But I'm going to stick with the overdrive version because it has the pages on on the screen. And if it if it inflates what I'm reading a little bit, I don't really care. Like it's helpful for this week, <laughs> but it's just, it's easier to track. And if my, if I feel the need to track, which obviously I do, um, then that's easier than reading something that has the locations. So that's what I'm gonna do. The other thing that I'm gonna do is that I also have, um, today is my TV night. So I have three hours of TV uh, back to back to back. It's not my favorite, but it will be good after like, cause it's gonna be a busier day. Um, and so I do, n none of these are great for 
um, reading and commercials, but I'm going to have a lot of commercial time. And so I think what I'm going to do, um, and I'm going to be tired, so often during the commercials I'll like get up or I'll download my library books, or I might do a fishing quest. <laughs> Not really, the fishing quest requires more attention, and the quest didn't show up again yesterday. I didn't get the cooking achievement, yay! Although I I had to buy, I just bought it, the one of the materials off the auction house because you needed faction, the correct faction to have the recipe, and I, I barely remember that and I didn't think I picked a side in Outland I think you have to pick a side and it's one of the things that was a little challenging about the expansion is that if you picked a different side from like your friends or whatever you couldn't quest together because people who were friendly to you weren't friendly to them and the quests weren't open I don't remember how like if they've changed that a lot but I thought I went to the area where the the merchant for the recipe was and oh, topic but let's finish the story um so I went to the area in it's in Nagrand and I thought I would be able to buy it from the merchant but the, it, it it said that they weren't they were it was like a, their the color of their uh name was like a dark it was like an amber dark amber like a auburn almost has anyone used the term auburn for something other than hair no. Anyway, and um, so they didn't attack me, but they wouldn't talk to me. And I'm like, I thought I had been in that area and that those merchants had talked to me before. So I'm like, did I? I thought I didn't choose a side. I thought I didn't do anything faction related, but maybe I did. Anyway, some lovely person had the quest item up on the auction house for like 22 silver, which is awesome. So much everything is like, like, the 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 fine the economics in the game are completely different now and so much like you can you can get gold really quickly which means a gold now is like what a silver was so anything on the auction has for a silver especially for a quest item even if it's for like this kind of quest I was surprised but not I don't think there's a huge amount of interest in uh, the area I'm in oh my god okay so let's just wrap that up so I got my cooking achievement yay go me um, I'm really happy about that uh, but the fishing quest was was Shrimp and ate easy again, which I've already done. It's an easy one. It's in Zanga Marsh, and I like Zanga Marsh, but I was just like, I didn't have enough time. So where was I going with any of that? Ah, yes. So sometimes during the commercials, I like to um, read a book. Shocker. Um, but because situationally, maybe I'll go into why later. It's it's harder. It's better for me to read on my tablet. And um, so... I, but I don't, so I'm like, should I start something new? Should I dive into something else? But to be honest, one of the best things for me to read during commercials is Goosebumps books. And, um, and I, I resist starting a new book given everything that's going on in this whole challenge. But I'm like, I know I have a three hour block, you know, and one hour of TV is 44 out uh, 44 minutes so there's like 15 minutes that's 45 minutes of commercials I might as well use that like some of that'll do puttering or whatever but like you know what I mean so anyway so I thought let's uh look on the library's website let's see what goosebumps are available that I haven't read yet and so I will probably be starting a new book that being said, I should be able to finish it before the end of the week. Goosebumps books don't take me long. Um, I won't be able to finish it in one day. I, I'm amazed at people who can do that with um, middle grade books. But I, I, the only thing I, I don't even like reading stuff in one go. So, so I don't have to do that. Anyway, let's look and see what's available. And um, hopefully uh, there will be at least something. I, you know, if not, um, my plan is foiled. Because shrimping ain't easy. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Let's see what's available. Okay, so here we are at the library website. Ooh, I have a hold that's come in. Okay, I gotta look at that later. <laughs> um, so I've typed in Welcome to Dead House. This is the first book in the Goosebump series. I've already read it, but it's just an easy way to get to the series itself. Um, so let's take a look at the book. And then there you go. So that is just a quick and easy way to look at a series. Um, and you can just click that. And here are the books in the Goosebump series. Now, this isn't flawless. Sometimes books aren't tagged with the series. So if you're looking for a particular title and you don't find it this way, looking up the title and author is always a good bet. So some are available, some aren't available. Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, that one was pretty fun. Um, Scarecrow Walks at Night. 
One Day at Horrorland is one of my favorites, and I have started reading the Welcome to Horrorland series, but these are a combination of available and unavailable, so let's filter out, because I want to read something today, so only the available now ones, and now I have that moment where I'm like, so what have I read, and what have I not read? I am not sure. I like to stay out of the basement. I can't remember if I read Werewolf the Swan Theater. It came from Beneath the Stink. That was pretty funny. Um, anyway, so I have my, my spreadsheet, of course, because I'm me. And um, so this has all of the Goosebumps books. All the colors mean different things. The blue and the uh, gray ones aren't available at the library. So at the on Overdrive. So the next one I need to read is The Headless Ghost, which I did not see. I did not see that one. Okay, so what's the next, next one? Say Cheese and Die Again. I didn't see that. Ghost Camp. Oh, no, I've read Ghost Camp because there is the date read. Um, okay, Attack of the Jack Lanterns. I didn't see that. Vampire Breath. I didn't see that one. How I Learned to Fly. Oh, I think that one was there. That doesn't super appeal, but it is the next one. Oh my gosh, have I read them all? I thought I saw it. Girl and Crying Monster, I Live in Your Basement. Oh my gosh, what if I've read them all? That would be bad. I am pretty sure I haven't read this one. Okay, How I Learned to Fly is not on there. Right, right, right. Don't Go to Sleep. All right, so Don't Go to Sleep is the next, next one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that was more complicated than I thought. Uh, where is it? Don't go to sleep. Here we go. So borrow. So that apparently will be what I am reading. There we go. Usually something else pops up. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to trust that that uh, happened. After all of that, I actually got an error message when I went to my loans. An error has occurred. <laughs> foiled again anyway so hopefully that will be available uh hopefully that um uh borrow went through if not i will just pick something else and um that's available i think there i think there was at least one other that i haven't read yet so wow my plans are so far going stellar today um but anyway i i will i will Hopefully there's something. Anyway, sometimes with tech errors like that, like there is no, I don't need to read this right right now. So I'm just going to let it go, check in on it later and uh, attend to other things because I do need to attend to other things. And uh, so, but fingers crossed that I will be able to read. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> what a day. And my filming station is now my workstation <laughs> or food prep station. My other workstation where the chopping happens. And the coffee happens. All right, I am heading out into the nine degrees out there. Nine degrees Celsius, of course. Uh, yeah, that's a bit chilly, so I added a scarf. Because <laughs> that'll make all the difference. It does. It actually really does. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know. This is November weather. It's May. Ah, oh. anyway. Anyway, it'll be good. Maybe I'll see some birds. I don't know. There's, there's always that possibility. I will look for birds. It's actually beautiful out, uh, windy, moody, noisy. I love it. <laughs> Some of this week's bounty cauliflower was on sale. And my goodness, I did not realize how big the package of strawberries I got was. <laughs> Four. Got a whole empty shelf of lots of space. And... I feel like there is so much to choose from and it was a bit of Jenga <laughs> this time around. I might actually be able to skip shopping next week. We shall see. And lunch! Wow, that looks like a lot of bread when it's cut up like that. Lunch, 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 and tea. It's not quite ready. Almost there. This is super meta. I'm going to be watching on my phone my vlog from another day to do show notes or to like 
figure out the timing. While I'm listening to that hum, which is another vlog saving, and then this in itself is a vlog clip. I don't think it can get more meta than that. Saving, 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 get that blocking saving, 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 right. <laughs> so I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my reading in today. I looked at the time, some things happened a bit later and longer than expected, and I, I don't... I look at the time for the rest of the day and I'm like, I actually don't know if I'm going to make it for my reading at all, let alone all of those lofty ideas that we had. Um, we had, you made how, see how I made that softer? It all of a sudden became we instead of it was being my decision. <laughs> no, it's mine. Instead, of the plan that I made. I'll take responsibility. Anyway, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't want to, um, I don't want to ditch any of the shows that I watched tonight. Um... None of them. I'm, I'm also editing a vlog and none of the... It takes a lot of time because you edit it, loads the clip, you have to wait a little bit, it loads the clip, wait a little bit. But the none of the books I have lend themselves to being read in little pieces like that. They're either um, Fast and Furious, um, like the two urban fantasy paranormal romances, or they are like like slow and steady and like take concentration. So I am stumped. Um, I, but I used to always leave my reading to the end of the day. And, uh, if I know, I know if I do that, I'm not going to make my target. So, but there's not like, there's, I don't, I don't want to make any concessions, which is <laughs> the struggle I have. That's my struggle. I don't want to make any, I don't like compromise. Um, and I don't want to not, you know, so re out of all of the things, even though this is a reading vlog and a reading challenge, out of all of the things, um, I've, either, I've either already made the decision, so there's no going back, or for future stuff, for the rest of the day, I, I don't see, I don't see, um, a good placement other than right at the end of the day and... I'm likely just going to fall asleep, so. <laughs> this might be a fail. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anything could happen. Like me changing my mind. <laughs> That's the least likely thing to happen. We'll see. I'll see if I can make something work, but I think this might be a bit of a fail. <laughs> Well, if that's the truth, then that would be the first one at day 11, which in that when you look at it from that perspective, I don't want to discourage myself, but from that perspective, it's not too bad. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried, but not worried, worried, but yeah. All right. It is the first commercial break in the resident. So I got don't go to sleep all propped up or readied up. No. Nope. I don't know. I don't know. Ready to go. That's what I meant to say. So here we go. I love how big <laughs> the chapter titles are. All right. Clonk. Ow. The Klingon got me. All right. There's already Star Trek reference. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right. We'll see how far I get in my shows. Where do we start at? 1%? 3%? I'm already on page three. Look at that. I haven't even done anything. So I have watched my three shows and got to page tw or chapter 21 of Don't Go to Sleep. I had no idea. I don't remember how many chapters are in it. But let's see the percentage I got to. And there we go. 67%. I actually thought it would have been a little further along in the book. But uh, yeah. So it's actually quite entertaining. I think the title and the cover don't quite match up with where I thought the story was going to go, but it has been pretty fun. And, oh, time to do something. And, uh, yeah, so it, I, it would be funny if this is all of my reading for the day. It could happen. I do still have to edit 
one vlog and I'm feeling very toast already so yeah who knows maybe more reading maybe only fishing I mean vlogging I mean editing <laughs> we'll see we'll see <laughs> Uh, quick, Mr. Messenger, a statement will be issued shortly. Actually, I just wanted to ask, what's your perfect Sunday?